If he likes men, then that's his business, and I think he should be able to do that. If he prefers relationships with men, that is his personal matter. In my opinion, he should have the freedom to make that choice. Recent reports have emerged, suggesting that Jamie Foxx might be facing blackmail over his sexuality by influential figures in Hollywood. Fans are also referencing a past claim by Cat Williams, who alleged that Jamie had a romantic involvement with Mark Anthony, an artist under his label. There has been a significant amount of online speculation concerning Jamie's recent hospitalization, particularly after he revealed feeling betrayed by someone close during his time in the hospital. Concurrently, Jamie's sexuality has become a topic of discussion among fans, with searches surging as people investigate Cat Williams' assertion from years ago that Jamie might be gay. So, what exactly did Cat Williams say about Jamie's sexuality, and did Jamie truly have a romantic relationship with Mark Anthony? Let's delve into the details. The number of men in same-sex relationships doesn't directly affect the number of women in opposite-sex relationships, as these are distinct and individual choices that contribute to the diversity of our society. I appreciate the perspective that gay men bring to our world. Jamie Foxx's recent discharge from the hospital hasn't quelled the rumors and conspiracy theories surrounding his medical emergency. In fact, they seem to be intensifying. Speculation about his being on the down low has resurfaced and gained traction. In an older video, Cat Williams can be seen claiming during a stand-up show that Jamie is gay and had been involved with his artist Mark Anthony. This claim dates back to 2012. Jamie's enigmatic Instagram post, addressing fake friends and betrayal, following his hospitalization, has led fans to wonder who he was referring to. Some fans are speculating that one of the individuals might be Sean Diddy Combs, considering their history. During Jamie's hospital stay, reports surfaced alleging that Diddy sought to silence Jamie to prevent him from disclosing secrets about his own sexuality and rumored gay gatherings. Notably, Jamie has never refuted these claims, and he chose not to address Cat Williams' controversial comments. Moreover, Jamie's connection to Diddy and his notorious parties has been discussed in interviews. Although Jamie has spoken about these parties, he has carefully chosen his words, avoiding revealing too much. This has fueled discussions about these gatherings and their potential implications. Additionally, an old interview emerged in which Jamie mentioned that Nick Cannon had stayed at his house when Nick was just 13 years old. This brought to mind the situation involving Diddy and Usher, where concerns were raised about adult industry figures inviting young boys to live with them. Fans expressed distress over these allegations and wondered if Jamie's involvement in such parties might be related to his recent health issues. Mark Anthony, the artist under Jamie's record label, addressed the claims made by Cat Williams during a radio interview. While he dismissed the claims, his body language appeared tense, and he made a lighthearted attempt to downplay the situation. Mark remains close with Jamie, as evidenced by his comment on Jamie's post about fake friends. The overall situation has led fans to consider various conspiracy theories, including the possibility that Diddy might have played a role in Jamie's hospitalization due to fears of exposure. The comments by Cat Williams and even Howard Stern, who hinted at Jamie's sexuality on his radio show, have added to the intrigue.